Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And I used to have this really long spiel that I said at the beginning of every video about how I mostly open lifestyle boxes, often with beach, huga, and travel themes. And I will say that I think the only thing that's true in there anymore is that it is mostly lifestyle and there are a lot of huga boxes, but I don't do as many beach boxes these days anymore. I wish I did, but a lot of them have gone away. So very, very sad little moment of silence for beach boxes. There's still a few of them, but what I'm really happy about is that there are so many Huga inspired boxes. Of course, this is one of the originals and it is Huga box. Now this one has actually been sent to me for a review. I am a regular subscriber. I've been subscribed to this box for probably three years now, but I was so excited when they reached out and said that they would like to send this one to me for a review. So yay. I do have a referral link for you that will save you 5% and that does definitely help me out with all of my other renewals so that I can keep bringing this fabulous box to you. Now they do have two different sizes for this box. They have the standard box, which is $42 plus $10 dollars in shipping per month and they also have the deluxe box which is what I have to share with you here that is just a little bit more it's $44 per month plus $12 in shipping where you see the savings on both of the boxes is really with the multi-month subscriptions and that's where you'll see more of a difference in the prices between the standard and the deluxe the deluxe usually comes with one or two extra items but because I do love this box it is a total mystery every time they don't do any spoilers or anything I just don't like to fill the FOMO. So I go ahead and spend that extra money. I usually do three months at a time. That's just what works best with my budget, but you can definitely save quite a bit if you're able to do six or even 12 months right up front. So like I said, there is that 5% referral link. I'll leave it for you in the description box below. Thank you so much to Hugo Box for sending this to me. Now on the inside, they do tell us all about the concept of Hugo, which just in case you are not familiar, is the Danish concept, very much a Scandinavian concept in general of coziness, of warmth, Warmth of savoring the simple slow moments in life finding joy in simple things um, and I always love their uh, fall and winter boxes because that's really what I think of as kind of Huga season even though you can celebrate and practice Huga throughout the year uh, so and especially when they kind of give nods to the Scandinavian roots of this concept because we'll get really fun um, elements of light which is one of the promises of every box as well as edible indulgences i think now they actually say something to drink something to eat it used to just used to be edible indulgence but I think now it's always something to eat something to drink and then we'll get those like like I said nods to Scandinavian uh, heritage so we'll get like little gnomes and things for the holidays which is usually my favorite or like glog or something like that so let's go ahead and check it out very very cute little uh, square print that they've got today there's those gnomes some trees some little cozy cottages so warm and cozy is the theme now on the back they tell us all about the items often sort of in a narrative form at the bottom is where they'll tell us about the item or items that are just in the deluxe boxes and not in the standard sometimes I think it's worth it sometimes I'm like oh I probably would have been okay with the standard box this time around but like I said these are the months where you want to splurge a little bit and go for the deluxe box if you're able to so fabulous box to enjoy for yourself and then you know it's another box where it's beautiful like home decor accessory self-care items that you can always re-gift to someone else which I always think that's important uh, with any subscription right you might not like everything that's just gonna be that's how life is you're not gonna love every single thing but if it's items if it's themes if it's curations that you know that someone you know will enjoy those items uh, maybe in a mystery box for me to you subscribers then I think it's a good buy because it's always about the value for me that's one of the reasons I love subscription boxes so much so let's just read a little bit before we dive into the box it says if ever there was a time for comfortable pleasures it's now during this time of year there's a little more time to note and notice although to me it feels like there's less time because we're so busy with the holidays and making everything festive and bright. It says whether it's nature doing its astonishing thing or the cozy feel of a soft scarf, it's a period of preparation, nourishing our bodies for the winter and gathering or making gifts for the upcoming holidays. I love when people make gifts. This is the best. It says think of it as a slow ember. That would be a great theme for a Hugo box or any box, right? Slow burn. Um, and you'll surely enjoy the season's delights, both spectacular and simple. Catch up with old friends over hot toddy. Oh, I love hot toddies. Share plates of hearty food and savor moments. You know what my favorite holiday warm drink is? And you can tell me what your favorite holiday warm drink is in the comments below, is 
hot buttered rum you guys hot buttered rum is so delicious it is so good it's um you just have to make the like spiced butter but when i see that on a restaurant menu for the holidays i get it and then i get like another one and then i get another one and then i'm like okay that was really sweet and indulgent but then you don't need dessert hot buttered rum you guys so good not even like a rum person but when it's really cold outside mm -hmm, that's that's my drink of choice all right, I opened up the sort of golden mustardy tissue paper and this is what I see inside. This time they managed to get everything to fit in the box. Sometimes they have to put a mailer on it and then add a few items there. Um, this is what I'm talking about, you guys. Let me just free him from his little plastic bag. So this is what I was hoping to get. I have gotten some really cute holiday decor from this box. Like I said, I've been subscribed for probably three years. I think this is one of the first boxes that I brought to the channel. Maybe at the end, I don't think I brought it at the end of 2019. I held off for a while because I was like, this is a pricey box. Back in the day, you guys, I tried to keep all my boxes under $30 a month, which like just is not possible these days. Look how cute this is. It's from Hugo House and it has a little card that says, Gnome is where the heart is. Look at his little hat with his little felt heart. Is that not adorable? Um, and he's kind of like got a beanbag butt, so he's going to sit on the shelf. And then he has little little feet that are going to hang over the edge. Isn't that cute? So I love this because sometimes you get the gnomes and they're just like an upside, upside down ice cream cone. And they don't have little arms and feet. But he has little feet and he has like arms. He even has sleeves. So this is a little more detailed gnome than we usually get. Let me like comb your beard, buddy. Sorry about that. So let me find him on here. A gnome is a mythological creature from Scandinavian folklore known for bringing good luck and protection and rewarding their household with love and happiness. In Sweden, they're known as Nis. If treated well, they protect the family from evil and misfortune. However, they are also known to be short-tempered and can play tricks or hide items. So I way rather have gnomes than elf on a shelf. Like, you know, right? Way cuter. So he is adorable. Love the neutral colors. Like, you know, you can have him out all the time. It's not just a holiday gnome. He's an everyday gnome. Yep, I love him. He's the cutest. I'm like, we can stop now. I'm good. I got my gnome for the season. All right, here is, I'm guessing, also from Hugo House. So I kind of feel like Hugo House is like their in-house brand, like, um, which makes sense. So this is beautiful, though. It says stargazing. So we got 30 warm white LED lights, battery operated. So we got some fairy lights. So usually the element of light is fairy lights or a candle. We love both. It is great to get extra strings of fairy lights though for the holidays because you can use them all over. So these are, uh, let's see, in a little bag. These have little tiny stars on them, so that's cute. It says create a dreamy, twinkling scene in your space with this set of string lights and stargaze in your pajamas. Like stars in the sky, these lights add warmth with their soft glow. So I'm not gonna open them. Oh, these have the, this kind of battery. So. I do prefer when it comes with the little, you know, it's usually like a big box that has to fit two or three AA batteries. This is like the little round batteries and they did include it and it's just got the pull tab. So it's nice because it's much lower profile. So this is a lot easier to hide if you're doing like the, you know, like a fire bug kind of look in a jar um, or you're trying to like tuck it under a garland. You know, the big boxes can be kind of hard to hide. So this is nice because it is easier to tuck away, but like I never have those batteries to get replaced. I know I can just order them, but I'm really bad when it comes to anything beyond like double A AA and triple A batteries, like it's just not getting replaced. I, I know, I know it's, it's would be easy to do it. Here is the little stars you guys can see. So I'm not gonna pull the tab quite yet because I haven't done my holiday decorating yet, but I could see myself kind of oh, wrapping this around maybe the like magnolia, the faux magnolia that I got last year from a home decor box to put on the mantle would be really cute. So I love twinkly lights everywhere. everywhere, And then I have to go around every night and like light, light all my candles and then turn on all of my twinkly lights. And it's like a whole process. Like sometimes it takes me like a good 10 minutes to turn all the lights on. And then it's like, honestly, kind of bright in the house. My husband was like, can we turn some of the sparkly lights off between the tree and the ones on the mantle and all the candles I have lit? He's like, it's actually, I can like read in this light. I know. So you gotta, you gotta be sparing with your twinkly lights, you guys. All right, let's see what else we got. We have, oh yes. So we've gotten chai from them before. We've gotten like a mold glug from them before. This time we got a holiday drink. Now, 
What I do appreciate, again, is for the holidays, they bring us different stuff because they always promise uh, edible indulgence and something to drink, something to eat. You know, because of the idea of Huga, we get so much tea in this box. You know, we'll get hot cocoa too, but like, I love when they deviate from tea just because tea is in every box at some point, I, I swear. I love tea, but like, as someone who reviews subscription boxes, I get a lot of tea not just in tea subscriptions, in lifestyle subscriptions, in Hugo subscriptions, everything. So this is different. This is more like a mix. So it is from Sip and Relax. It's Spiced Apple Hot Toddy Mix. Yum. That sounds so good. I'm, I'm super into this. So it says crisp apples simmered with warm holiday spices to make this comforting spiced apple hot toddy concentrate. It's a great mixer for cold weather classics and a perfect way to stay warm in the winter. Let me just see what it says. So Hmm. Mix two ounces of this mix with two ounces of hot water. If desired, top off with one to two ounces of whiskey, rum, brandy, or vodka. So yes. So you can just have like a hot cider basically, or you can have the adult version and add. So I would probably do, I mean, vodka is my spirit of choice. So maybe I should try it with vodka, but I always think like whiskey, rum, and brandy are much more like the, the darker liquors are usually like the winter ones. I don't know why I think that, but Maybe I should try it with vodka and maybe I'll put it like in my little like copper mug. Just, I know that's for mules, but it just seems festive to me. Uh, super excited about that drink. Let's see, what else have we got? Ooh, this is a good edible indulgence. We get a lot of like cookies and stuff in here. They're really, this is, this is a good box. Thank you, Hugo Box, for sending this to me. They did kind of tell me because I was like, hey, can you guys help me out? Like I wanted to redeem some of my referral credits and they were like, oh, I hope you're enjoying your November box. And I was like, I haven't opened it yet, but this is, I've been so excited about this one because they sent it to me, but also I know that I knew they were going to do really a great job in November and they are so far. So mm. it says Heavenly by Scott Schottinger uh, says lust almonds in truffle chocolate you guys even the packaging is really pretty with this gold uh, lid you can kind of see the truffled chocolate there's almonds nice fairly healthy snack right almonds aren't bad for you and anything with chocolate makes me really happy little nice snack to enjoy maybe not with my hot toddy but definitely like reading by the fire not that I can do a real fire in my fireplace anymore, but by my tons of candles that I have lit in my fireplace instead. All right, let's see what it says about this. So, hmm. Treat yourself and your loved ones to a decadent indulgence and invite delight into your life with almonds and truffle chocolate designed to appeal to all your senses from Sweden with love. And you guys, you know, the Swedes, they love their candy. Mostly, I feel like they usually like really like fruity candies, but, um, they, they just like sweets in general. So the Swedes like the sweets. That's easy to remember, right? That is something that I learned when I was visiting there. But Scandinavia does really good sweets. I was going to try to open them for you guys, but this uh, looks like it's going to involve... I'm going to need to like get stabby with it instead of just peeling off the tab. So it's probably better because then the... <laughs> the lust dust would go in the air and I would start choking more. And I'm still... I still have a little bit of a itchy throat a little bit of a dry cough still from my cold last week all right here is something that we have gotten in lots of boxes we've gotten it from old school cause box we've gotten it in probably 180 degree box and it is not it's not a bad thing it's like there's some items that we get that are repeated in every box and i don't mind because they're good brands they're good products it is from skin and co from roma it's their Truffle Therapy Morning Dew. So this is actually different though. Usually I've gotten the like cleanser. Um, this is Gel Botanico. So it's a face cleansing gel. So this is a gel instead of an oil. So familiar bottle, but I was like, this looks a little more viscous. So it is a little bit of a different product that I've gotten, but a very familiar brand and bottle. So it says, start your day off the bright way. Truffle Therapy Morning Dew Botanical Cleansing Gel is a gentle daily cleanser formulated to thoroughly cleanse skin, uplift and brighten the complexion, and protect from free radicals and environmental damage. Exclusive and proprietary black winter truffle extract fortifies skin with powerful antioxidant enzymes as traditional Umbrian botanicals refresh skin and dissolve impurities. Papaya extract brightens and minimizes the appearance of blemishes and imperfections while improving the appearance, texture, and tone of skin with daily use. All right, a good cleanser. 
the Umbrian Botanicals just makes it sound really fancy, doesn't it, you guys? So cool. So it's a gel. You can see it's a really pretty bottle. It's plastic, but it's very simple, um, very elegant. You wouldn't be it would be fine on your bathroom counter. I always think about like, that's why I like good packaging is like, can I leave it out and it doesn't look like, you know, cheap. So very, very nice. We usually do get like a self care or beauty or bath product in this box. So this is the one for this one. So that was everything that would be in your standard boxes. You got your string lights with the little stars, your element of light for something to drink. We got our hot toddy mix, our little concentrate. Yay. There's, you're probably only going to get like a few out of this, four drinks out of this because you use two fluid ounces for each mix. Uh, for our edible indulgence, some delicious almonds in truffle chocolate for our fun like kind of little home decor and seasonal item we got this uh holiday gnome so i'm just trying to make sure his hat it doesn't have any extra detritus on it and then of course we got our truffle therapy morning dew so very nice five items there this is still my favorite even though it's like the least useful item it still is one of those things where i always like a box to have good curation so like a sense of theming a good value so you feel like you're getting your money's worth and maybe a little bit extra but then also i want it to have functional useful items like for example the cleansing gel but also an element of delight so here is our element of delight and then finally with our deluxe box we got a luxurious scarf this is from vince camuto which is a brand that they do include quite a bit and vince camuto is a pretty well-known brand um, that you can find a lot of places they just gave us the scarf ring so that was about to fall to the ground so i do like this luxurious color with this like um neat geometric pattern it's not super duper thick it's got some simple fringe at the bottom but it is pretty big so you can kind of see it's almost like a blanket scarf here um, it does seem like it's a maybe it's a blanket. So it says super soft and luxuriously comfy This fringed Vince Camuto scarf comes in the perfect goes with everything pattern make cozy But sophisticated your new thing perfect for wrapping into when the days turn frosty It's like a hug you can wear so you can kind of see it's got like a nice sheen to it I'm trying to show you the thickness of it as well so let's see, it's got like this kind of like finished edge, which is cool, but I do like the color, like the warmth of it. Now I'm usually like a gray girl, but you know, I do like my natural colors. It's very much a blanket, you guys, because this is the full width of it, this across. So that's the full width of it. You can definitely double it up and it's not gonna be too, too bulky around your neck, but then it is really long. So, you know, if you doubled it, if you did a one loop around your neck, you would still have nice long tails um, and it seems really soft. So that's always like a important part because you might see a scarf that's beautiful, lovely knit, lovely colors. And then when you actually put it on your neck skin, which is very sensitive, it's not quite as soft, but this, this is nice and soft. Um, and it's a good weight where you could double it up if you wanted to or not. But I do like this sort of geometric pattern. It kind of reminds me of like a neat looking like chocolate bar. But because it's so wide, I feel like you could definitely wear this more as a pashmina, like a fun wrap where it goes over your shoulders or use it as a blanket if you're out to eat and you just need a little extra warmth. So very versatile. Um, even though it's thin, I would consider it more of it like a blanket scarf than just a scarf by itself, which I usually think of as being a little bit narrower. So in this case, I do think that it was definitely worth the money to get that extra item because it was an extra um, accessory. It just kind of rounded out the box for a total of six items it felt it feels a little more full to me with that scarf you guys let me know what you thought in the comments below like i said again i do have that referral link for five percent off if you are interested in getting this box or gifting it to someone else for the new year i do think this would be a fantastic gift subscription as well i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please help me out by giving it a thumbs up and i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing